Hi everyone, this is Kim with Abundant Life Tarot and we are doing an unboxing video. This is of the Animal Allies Oracle Cards. And let's just get right started. Let's get to it. I actually, I, okay, here's the thing about animal decks. And, or my thing with animal decks is not really so much into animals all that much like that where I would want a specific deck but lately I have been called to work with spirit animals and I don't have a deck dedicated just to animals I didn't really want a, a full-on tarot deck committed to um, tarot you know like to my animal spirit um, thing I'm trying to do uh, because I just I just no I'm not really into all animal tarot decks I'm just gonna keep it real that's just not my bag um, but I love I can appreciate some of them I, I know that there's some awesome ones out there and I will be exploring like probably one or two more animal decks to complete that part of my collection but um, yeah anyways we have animal allies here oracle cards and we have and I apologize if you can hear something in the background <laughs> it's a lot of television stuff going on so I ordered these through Amazon and I forgot where I saw these from maybe it was Amazon I was just kind of going through looking I think I typed in the search um, animal oracle decks and this came up and I was like this is perfect because um, maybe sometimes I want to compliment a, an oracle or a tarot reading I'm doing for someone and getting some spirit animal energy for that reading for that person and maybe even an animal totem to look out for um, in the weeks to come. I have been studying um, spirit animals, um, studying more about it and um, I'm quite fascinated by it but again I, I'm just not I, I love animals like that I love animals don't get me wrong I do there's a place for them of course on this wonderful planet but uh, yeah <laughs> so it comes with a simple way to use this deck great card stock you guys know I love a good um, flexible card stock that I can shuffle easily um, so she gives some, a uh, gives description here. And then this deck is by Jessica Swift. This deck was created and illustrated by Jessica Swift. So I believe this is, uh, self-published and put on, um, Amazon, which is quite impressive. Now the box looks like it's kind of handcrafted, but it's beautiful. Look at that. Look, but there is some lifting here. I don't really care about that so much I could fix that with a little tape or glue but look at that you are not alone uh, let's see and here are the backs I love the backs it's nice and fun and then it doesn't come with a Let's see, teachers re oh, it does come with the teacher's resources, bibli bibliography, and gratitude. And she says, I've loved animals and have felt a special kinship with them since I was a small child. I've drawn and painted animals for years. Some of my earliest memories are of drawing fantastical birds in a sketchbook with my mom. This deep love for the creatures of earth combined with the passionate spark that several wise teachers trainings and insightful resources lit within me led to the creation of this oracle deck i offer my deepest gratitude to them and i hope these resources for further exploration will light a passionate spark in you as well and so she has um different resources that she has here on this card and it doesn't have your typical guidebook but it has a guide page and probably what I'm going to eventually do 
is make copies of this and put it in my Oracle binded book that I take when I have these loose kind of Oracle guides. I then make copies of them and bound them. So that way I always have, I keep the original with the box and then I always have it handy. It won't like get lost or it won't get damaged and I'm like freaking out because I don't have access to it. Um, but all of the got all of the keywords or the card meanings are on here. And let's see what's so this says while energy is all around you. It's beautiful. I'm drawn to hummingbirds right now. I always have been, but especially right now. And they've been like always like around, like flying up to like the the floor that I work on, you know, the window. I'm like, oh, you made it all the way up here. Visiting me and you are not alone. I just love the inside of the boxes. So let's take a look at the cards. So there's alligator. And I have to apologize, you guys. I'm sweating profusely. It is hot as hell out here today. It is um, 104, 105 in Sacramento. And my air is, I feel it, it's on, but it just feels like it's, it's fighting a losing battle. It, it really is. Alligator. <laughs> Ant. And some people, I think, could review this um, or like comment on other people's reviews of this deck complain about the borders and I can understand why but I, I think it would be easy for people who want to trim the borders be easy for them to trim it off because you can just trim along here and you don't have to have that but I don't care about the white borders to be honest with you they don't bother me and the card is not that big it's like it's like your standard this is like your standard hay house kind of size box really you know so Hey, similar to a Hay House size deck. Armadillo. And you have. Let me go that direction. The Badger. And it's going to be nice because it's. I'm planning on just doing more and more pulls for my Instagram. That. And so. It's easy for me to bear. It's easy for me to use these because they're so colorful and it's going to be fun to pair them up with stones. And for some reason when I look at it, I don't know why it's not focusing. And when I look at this one, the beaver. You know, you typically know what beavers do, what, what kind of what they would do, what they typically do, but if you didn't know, you can always go to the guide for guidance, B. And so I, I don't know, I like, I just was called to this deck for some particular reason, B. Versus all the other oracles out there. It's got a really good card stock too. This big horn sheep. Four. Buffalo. Oh, I love that one. Butterfly. You know, Colette Baron Reed is coming out with an animal oracle deck in October, I believe, of 2018. It's beautiful. Canary. And I'm probably going to check that one out too. Cheetah. But I'm not going to. I'm probably not going to pre-order it. I'm probably going to wait till it comes out, or at least till I can see some images, um, or not even so much images either. The guidebook as well. Just want to make sure I'm going to vibe with it. Not because I don't vibe with Colette Baron Reed's work or anything like that. That's not it. It's just that it's an animal deck, and I've got to vibe with it, crap, before I bring it into my collection. I love the crab card. Look at that vibrant red. Oh. Crow. And deer. Oh, that's beautiful. 
dolphin. Dragonfly. Eagle. Elephant. So it's not focusing. Fox. Frog. Look at that frog. Let's see if I can make it. Can't make it focus. Hawk. Taking me off. Focus. Sorry, I'm looking at myself with the looking at my reflection. If you're wondering, where are you looking at, honeybird? Looking how glistening I am on the camera. There she is. Look at that beautiful honeybird. Jellyfish. Kangaroo. Obviously, it's in alphabetical order. Lizard. Monkey, moose, moth, mountain lion. Octopus. Oh, I like the octopus. Look at that. It's unbelievable. A possum. These freaked me out. Um, they freaked me out. They're, they are prevalent in um, Oakland where I grew up and then also in Sacramento. And I mean, have you ever been kind of close to a possum? Just as they're freaked out about you, you probably just as freaked out about them. <laughs> but they're, you know, I hear they're cool animals. Um, otter. An otter. That's cute. An owl. What are you looking for? Rabbit. If you look in the bag on the counter, there might be some in there. I know what you're looking for if you look on the counter. Raccoon. Rat. Salmon. Mmm, look at this one. I like this. Scorpion. I like the choice of animals and insects that she has. Shark. Skunk. Sloth. Snail. Spider. It's cool. Because it's so hot, the spiders are coming inside the house. Ugh. Squirrel. So we've got, I don't know, spiders coming in, so being hot. I'm, I'm not going to complain anymore. No more complaining about the hot because. Summer actually is my favorite season, believe it or not. Even though it can get really hot out here, I love the Sacramento nights because I love that it's dry and the breeze, that delta breeze coming through. It's just it's magical. <laughs> Starfish. And so you could just be hanging and partying into the night. 
I don't party anymore, but I was in my 20s, you know, it was, con it was a nice convenience to have hot summer California nights so you can wear your cute little outfits. Now there's not so much partying going on, Swan. Let's see, Tiger, Tiger. Oh, I love this turkey. We have wild turkeys by my job. And my coworker has named the daddy Charlie, Charlie the turkey. And Charlie the turkey and his lady have just recently had babies. And it's so adorable. Turtle. I might try, I haven't seen the babies lately since it's starting to get hot, but I might try to get them on video and just kind of throw them on to YouTube if we can see the babies again. I might have missed my opportunity. Turtle. Vulture. It's cool. Vulture. Kind of interested to see what the vulture energy is talking about, right? Well, these are all the cards. So let's see how they shuffle. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm liking the stock, the card stock that's been coming out. I mean, not just. I mean, Hay House is kind of this matte thinner stock that's easy to shuffle which I appreciate and this isn't Hay House it doesn't say Hay House at all it's not Hay House it looks like it's self-published by Jessica Swift um, it's just a really nice shuffle shuffling deck let's see let's see how it shuffles I'm just gonna... Oh yeah, it ruffles shuffles like a dream. It just ruffles shuffles like a dream. Oh! I'm gonna get those before my puppy tries to get them. Okay. We're gonna pull a card though. Let me grab my card. We are gonna pull a card see what animal energy we need to work with and what animal totem we'll be encountering on our journey. And then I am going to turn this camera off and I'll take a shower and try to pull off. <laughs> All right, spirit. What do myself and those watching need to know. What are we to know? One octopus, well, three fell, so we'll just. Uh, Alright, so octopus. We'll read from the. I'm not going to do an intuitive read, I'm just going to read from the guide so we can see what it, how it flows. Because. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to take of this hot, this heat, and these canvas. Intelligence, octopus. Intelligence, camouflage, mystery and wonder, flexibility, adaptability, and fluid movement. Symmetry and balance. The left and right sides of an octopus are perfect mirror images of one another. Octopus is a sacred ancient messenger who will reveal profound lessons to willing students and seekers. Let her guide you into your deepest watery depths and into the mysterious magic of this precious moment. Oh, possum. Everything is not always as it seems. Unusual strategy, unexpectedness, and diversion tactics are the name of the game. Cleverness in knowing how to or how not to respond or react. The element of surprise, using your brain instead of your claws and a sharp teeth to get where you want to go. Trust and use your instincts. And then starfish, following your own path, 
trusting your intuition, doing things your own way, even if others think it's strange or wrong. Starfish is also a reminder that of that of the gray areas in life. Oh, there's a typo there. That of so it has the A versus the F. Okay, that of the gray areas in life. Things are not usually black and white, but somewhere in the middle. Don't be quick to judge others, just as you hope that they won't be quick to judge you. Starfish is also about regeneration. She can out, she can regrow from just a single one of her five legs. Amazing. And then I just kind of curious about Vulture. <laughs> just curious a little bit. Vulture. Vulture, Vulture, Vulture. Cleansing and purifying. Utilizing what is available to you. Soaring with the flow. Universal balance. Digesting the old and turning into new energy. Vulture also teaches that what you do and who you are is more important than how you look. What needs to be picked clean in your life? Physically, emotionally, psychically? What is that? Physically? Psychically? Psych I don't know that word. I'm going to Google that. Um, anyways, yeah. So there you all have it. That's just a semi-quick unboxing of the Animal Allies deck. I like it. I like it a lot. I, yeah, I love the feel of it in my hands really cute deck shuffles nicely overhand as well as ripple shuffling so man it's a keeper i'm gonna like i said now that i've got this deck at first my animal oracle was going to possibly be colette's uh, one that's come out in october but a i didn't feel like waiting b um i just was called to this one this one I did a few, um, I was only able to find one or two reviews of it out there, and then I found some images online, but I just really liked it, I really connected with the artist, I really connected with this deck, and I said, you know, we'll see if I connect to any other animal deck, but like I said, I only want one or two more, that's it, so, anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching. Much love. Let me know before I conclude this video. Let me know if you have this deck, if you work with it, and, and more importantly, let me know how you're working with it. Or if you do intend on getting it, how do you plan to work with it? Because I want to take all ideas on how to work with this animal um, deck and then how to work with spirit animals. So I'm open to everything you got to say and suggest. So, so much love. Many, many blessings to all of you. See you all in the next video. I'm about to go cool off now. Bye.